Good morning, friends. This is Tanya Saige Crafts coming to you today with a craft along with me. <laughs> so I have got all this stuff, all this stuff, and I have been wanting to make a vintage-ish or not so vintage. Well, with this book, I wanted to do a vintage cookbook. And this book I got at a thrift store here locally. And it, you guys, it's pretty much perfect. I've got a little niche right there practically perfect yes Mary Poppins look it's gorgeous this is a I don't know when this was let's see if there's a date here somewhere I don't know that this is vintage but some of the things I'm gonna put in here won't be either so that doesn't bother me let's see if there's a date in here somewhere but look at these pages I love it it's um I think it might be just made to look yeah, uh, uh, photographs copyright 2007. So it's not vintage by any means, but it's made to look that way. And that's perfect for what I want to do because some of the things I want to put in here are going to be vintage and some of them aren't. But it would be fun to have a mix. Um, as many of you know, I am a assistant manager at a grocery store. And so food is something, well, that's not why I love food. I love food because it keeps me alive. <laughs> I'm also a farmer's daughter, so I understand the importance of produce and um, different food sources, animals, and all that good stuff. Um, it's just it's just how I've been raised. Uh, for our heritage, food is something that's important for, for get-togethers. It's something that our family gatherings um, surround. It's just a bit, always been a happy, important part of our lives so you know when we celebrate there's always food and you know pro that's probably the case for most but anyways working in a grocery store I also get to work with different people do, and they have taught me different things and different ideas and I just it's it's I love it I love just the history of dishes the uh, ethnicity different ethnicities and foods I love the varieties I love that you can do different things if you think about it cooking is a science experiment you're adding things in you're adding heat see what happens how the things uh, form together like baking how does that work you put a bunch of powder in a in a dish with an egg and it, and it, and it does what <laughs> turns into a spongy bready thing how does that happen that is a that's a chemical reaction that happens so it's kind of like chemistry so there's some science behind it. it's just there's so much um, anyways, I love it, um, and I want to make a cookbook, and it, 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 a cookbook journal, I should say. I don't want a cookbook, because then I'd just be collecting recipes. That's not what I'm doing here. I want to add things into this book that are beautiful and celebrate food, that celebrate differences. I found a bunch of stuff at the um, uh, antique bookstore, and I've shared these before, but I'll kind of go through them briefly, just kind of show you what I'm talking about like these little books these are old some of these are really old books but look at this art that's just amazing art I love it and Christine Smith was the owner of this little book this one is minute tapioca general foods Massachusetts let's see if it's got a date on it so some of these are really old this one's from 19 uh, copyright 1934 so this will be fun to go through look at that art beautiful to celebrate some of that food and um, history and you know this is just a little I don't want to put that one in there I have something else I want to do with that I've got some ads here and I saw um, a video yesterday on YouTube of somebody that put together a um, a journal just like the one I, I want to do and I was just I was inspired today to, uh, to to pull this stuff out and start looking through it so what we're going to do today, this may be a little out of order, putting the horse before the cart kind of thing, but I want, this is Lee, and Pe Lee of Perrin's, that sauce, you know that sauce? Flavor Secrets chart. Lee Perrin, see? I don't even want to, I don't even want to mess this up. Isn't that cool? Look at that. I'll probably just fold this up and put it in the pocket. Um... I just want to start putting some things together, but I want to make some tags today. So I pulled these things out to look for some pictures. There's a couple of things I wanted to make sure. 
they're at the bottom because they were like the, some of the first things I pulled out. I was like, oh, that's cool. I also want to kind of go through um, some of my other cookbooks and find some things. I want to go through some of my family things as well. This one is actually a map, but I thought she was pretty fun. And if there's a health section or health food section, I want to cut this out and put her in there. Um, banana recipes, wheat germ recipes, mmm, clover leaf, dry milk. Look at that. Love it. Some of these you may have seen before. Many of them probably not. Platter cheddar with canned meat. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That sounds like a party. <laughs> Look at the art though. Isn't that cute? I thought these would be fun. Cocoa bars. I think I have plenty to make more than one. This is not vintage by any means. I remember, well, never mind. I'm probably vintage. What is the date on this? 1981. I was going to say, I think I remember seeing this in high school. That would have been, I would have been 11 when this came out. So maybe, maybe not. I was cooking by then. A1 sauce, butter cookies. Where is it? This one is Christmas. I'm gonna put this one, or it's um, different dishes for holidays. I'm gonna put that one up because I wanna do that one different. I have another another book I wanna use that way too. Meal planner, I'm not sure about this one yet. I'm sure there's something we can get out of there. There's a zucchini book right here. I might just tick to, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that one yet. I'm gonna put that one aside as well. That might be too hard. I was thinking about tucking that into a pocket, but I think that's too much. And especially if I don't wanna write on it, then what good is it in a journal, right? I cut some pages, where'd they go? They're at the bottom-ish, but I don't wanna tear anything. Look at that maraschino cherry cake, yum. This is um, a recipe card somebody already made. So I'll probably just clean clean that up a little bit and so that it doesn't break apart. Strawberry jam. This is somebody's recipe card too. That's a hand printed, look at this recipe. Look at that. Isn't that fun? I'll probably use this as a background piece. I think it's too brittle to try to keep like this. So I'll probably use that as a background. This one is a bunch of math, but I thought it'd be fun as a background. This lady looks like she knows what she's doing, so I thought she might be fun on a page. Here we go. Okay, these are the, some that I wanted to. Little Red Hen, this is so fun. This is a story that my grandpa used to tell me when I was little and I was so glad to get this one from the store um, about the little red hen and she asked everybody, will you help me, will you help me? No, 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 they all had excuses until the bread was baked and then everybody wanted some. And she says, no, I'll eat it by myself. <laughs> Nobody wanted to help her until it was time to eat. And then everybody wanted to be there and she says, no, nah, it's all good, I'll, I'll do it. I'll eat it. I remember that story. Grandpa told that one a lot. Because when we didn't want to help, <laughs> he wanted to remind us there might be a reward at the end. We might not get any. All right. That's a good remember thing to remember. Okay. So this one, I just wanted this one for the picture. I love that picture. Isn't that darling? And this is about, oh, that's the back side. That's the back side. That's so cute too. This one talks about oranges and lemons and grapefruit, citrus fruit. This was about um, living in America and how Dick and Nancy lived in a big house with orange trees in their garden and they uh, were picking the, picking the oranges and enjoying the oranges. So I thought I would make a pocket out of this. Of course, obviously I'm gonna have to glue these to stronger paper because they are brittle but I wanted them together and I thought I'd use, make a floating, either a floating pocket or um, hinge it to the page. So I'm gonna clean up this edge and we're gonna, actually I might not clean up that edge, we're gonna put paper behind it. So 
anyways, that's kind of my thought. I just kind of want to make some pockets and tags today and bring you along for the ride. I'm going to use some scrap paper today. Um, I've got to do something about my scraps. They are ridiculously out of hand. And I'm going to keep that for Halloween. Shoot. Now I'm sitting here picking through it like, oh, no, I need to keep that. I need to keep that. No, stop it. Use it. <laughs> How silly of me. Okay, actually though, I did want book page under here because of those tears. Um, so I think what we'll do is this. Put some book page under here. I do have some right here. And these are actually, I have this this book. This is one of my, my glue book or whatever. It actually has um, recipes in it, but they're for like household things like perfumes, cosmetics and stuff like that petroleum photography there's different it's it's interesting it's um got all the information in it not that i've read it because um i'd be lying if i said i had but i thought it was pretty cool but i do want to put some book page behind there just for something to look at i think i'm just gonna glue this down and then go from there and if i had a glue stick it might be easier of course, you know I took away my glue stick. So I hope you guys are doing great. Hope you're doing great. Um, I've been working away. I have unfortunately haven't been recording a lot of my crafting. I've just kind of been busy and just doing it. Uh, but I will be showing you guys some finished projects. Uh, I've had a lot I've been working on, a lot of swaps and stuff like that. But where is my glue stick? I see my li some liquid glue. There is a glue stick. That'll work. And um, I guess it doesn't matter which side I do, does it? Oh, let's see. I've done a lot of couple collabs this last week, these last couple weeks. So I've been working on those. So I have showed you those. Um, but I feel bad because many of you tell me, oh, I miss your morning, your morning crafting because, you know, I craft along with you and stuff. I'm so sorry. I feel like I let you down. <laughs> but I'll get back to it. It's um, <clears throat> also trying to put out some shorter videos and things have been, you know, ever steady at work. So we're nearing, we have neared the end. We have come to the end of my special project. However, most of the stores haven't completed theirs including myself because there's still so much to do so I'm not sure if I'm going to be held on the project or if I get to go back to my regular duties or not so we'll see about that we um should find out I would I would hope this week my we'll see <laughs> that's all I can really say I really don't have any more information than that um so yeah not a lot to tell there, huh? But home is good, kids are good. I'm good. I wish I had a fatter one. It takes forever, man. And I hope it even sticks. I don't know how good um, this glue will be long term, but I guess if it's mine, this is something I'm actually making for myself, I think. I think. Um, if it lasts, then it'll be in my hands and I can fix it, right? Or if it doesn't last, I mean. All right, so I wanna put, I wanna put the, the story on the other side of the pocket. So I think I should have measured this out probably. may or may not be able to use. Is this big enough? Might be big enough. Oh, hey, that's awesome. That worked out quite well, actually. Okay, so we'll put some more book page down here. I don't need you, Mr. Scale. And I don't care if it's perfect or not. I just want something, you know, interesting. To look at on this side. Actually, I wanted it on this side, don't I? 
nothing there, but it's better than white page. should get out because this is going to go this way so I want actually maybe I'll just put this in the center how am I going to do this that won't well let's just do it like that we're just going to glue this yeah yep 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 here let's just do this We'll just glue the back of this. So yeah, I'll be getting get back to some more um, my usual schedule, hopefully, and uh, more crafting in the mornings. Because I enjoy it too. I love being able to get some of my stuff done. The hard part when I craft in the morning is sometimes it doesn't, um, it still doesn't upload till the evening, and that's kind of bothersome. And it's just because of my um, internet. It doesn't upload fast enough, and then I have to run off to work, and <laughs> it does not upload there, and I don't know why. I haven't quite figured that out, but it won't. So if it doesn't upload from home, it's not uploading. I need to figure that figure that out. I'm sure it's something I can do in my settings, but I'm not so good with my phone. That's why I don't really have much editing done on my videos. Because I'm kind of weak at it. All right. Well, I may have messed that up a little bit because I didn't realize that was the edge of the paper over here. So let's just trim that back and see what we got. I thought I was gonna have some paper on each side. I guess I do a little bit, it'll be all right. So this'll go this way. Um, so now that I'm looking at it, I wish I would have put the paper, I wish I would have put the pictures on this side instead. I would have had some white background. Now I have that weirdness in the back. Not weirdness because I don't like the paper, because I do like the paper, but it's just not the same. All right, so stop worrying. Just tell me, stop worrying. You're good. And I'm going to, let's see here, put that away. I'm trying to think the best way I want to do it. Of course, I don't have the book done yet, but I want to put, if I put a hinge on it, it's going to be on this edge. So I want the pocket this way, so I want to put a thumb hole here. So I think I want to do that on both, on both sides. That'll lessen the print on the other side showing. Too big, that's too big. Where are my whole punchers? Where, oh where? You guys probably could turn me into a drinking game. Where is it, is my, my question. <laughs> Every time she asks, take a swig. Oh, it worked, all right. So now, what I'm going to do, I actually want to cut these straight, because they're not. Come on. Come on and cooperate, my little chickadee. Let's see here. Actually, I guess I don't mind that print on the backside so much. 
actually gives it a little character. Again, this isn't vintage, totally vintage, right? Let's go here. Ugh, where's the print on the other side? Now that I got it all in there and ready to go. Yep, we're good. So if I cut it right there, we're still good. It's hard working with these vintage papers because you know what? If you mess up, you don't have another one to replace it. You just don't. Look, I cut the word, but that's okay. That's okay. I won't be too mad at myself. I think I want to run some stitches in here, but I think I'm going to glue it first. So we'll glue it now and I'll, I'll run stitches through later. Oh shoot, look, there's a little bit of paper sticking out there too. That's gonna end up messing up over time. Darn it. Darn it. What can I do about that? I guess I'm gonna leave it because over time I think I'm okay with that. And I will be stitching it, so that'll help. Well, that not that edge. It'll be okay. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this. So this is, like I said, this is gonna be a floating pocket. So what that means is that this is not going to be, well, it may be a floating pocket. I may attach it. Never mind. So a floating pocket is one that gets clipped into the book and can be moved from page to page because it's just paper clipped in or if I turn it into a hinged page which is possible then it'll be attached in there and um, it won't be able to move but it will be able to flip back and forth now, I have to be careful with how I'm going to do this because I'll get my remote control out of here my stamp okay with this book I don't have a cinch and this is done with a cinch so it's not a three ring binder so I have to be careful because Everything that I put in here is going to have to attach to this book somehow because I can't get the things on there Unless I actually have a tool I'm gonna have to play with that and see you know what I have an idea I have an idea I have this guy Unlock. I haven't played with this very much yet, so forgive me. I wonder if I did it right did it a certain way and measured these out so that they were the right distance apart. I wonder if these would fit in here. Would that work? I think it might. I think it might if I did this every so, if I did the, okay, let's try another one right there. I think it was right there. Here, let's mark this. Let's put this one in. That would be a game changer if that would work. learning you guys this is just this is just a thought that I just had now let's see if I can line that up in here right there I'm lining up this little line right here with this let's see if that works the best that I can anyway they seem so close together I don't know but I guess that's how it is that's where I marked it I guess if I was going to do this for real, I'd probably score my paper a little bit or something. I don't know. But I'm just playing right now. Let's see if that works. Make it real. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys. Now you know. It works. Look at that. Look at that. It's cinched on there. It works. Do it. <laughs> I'm going to actually leave that there and we're going to put something, we're going to add something to it just because, just because it's the first time I did that. So there, let's cut this one though, because it's, it's crooked. It's cockeyed. There we go. Look at that. Okay. New trick. Wow. Get you one. 
So this is what this is. If you um, don't already know, this is one of those. Um, where's that ring at? I just had them. See, they're drink, drink up. <laughs> is it too early for drinking games this morning? This is one of those punches so that you can do the binder clip. These little ring clips. That's what these are for. But look, it works with the cinch too. That's awesome. I had not thought of that, but you know what? This is totally a game changer for my journal. I'll be able to take some of the, well, I'm gonna take, have to take some of these pages out anyway because adding all this stuff that I want to in here, it's gonna get way too thick, I'm sure. And since I'm not saving it for the recipes, I can save some of those pages for other things. So, hooray! <laughs> We've learned a new trick today. You guys are all probably saying, yeah, we already knew that. But hey, I figured it out. And nobody told me, so I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Give me a minute. I'll be all right. All right, so I don't know what's going to go in here yet, but we now have a pocket. Hooray. So um, I'm super stoked about that. That is fantastic. Okay. The food market. I'm going to do another one because this is about the food market. Look at that picture. It's about the grocery store. Isn't that cool? The produce department. You guys, some of you may have seen it and some of you not. Um, I was appalled yesterday. I'm not going to lie. I was appalled because I went to the grocery store because I was hungry for artichokes. So I went in and got an artichoke from the produce department and a couple other things. I walked up and handed it to the cashier, among other things. And she held it up and she says, what is this? I just about lost my mind. I'm like, what? <laughs> How do you not know what that is? You know, um, I didn't say that because it's not my place to embarrass it said, cashier but I was just in shock how do you not know what an artichoke is and if you guys don't know what an artichoke is I'm sorry I hope I'm not offending you but coming from California where everybody eats artichokes how I don't I don't I don't understand this lady was in her 50s probably I'm guessing and she didn't know what an artichoke was oh look at that that would be kind of fun just to put that there wouldn't it I love that. Okay, let's do that. I love the color. Look at the strawberries. If that wasn't the where the hole is, I'd so use the strawberries too. But the strawberry, the holes are there. So we're gonna cut that off. Yeah, I just I couldn't believe it. And so the um the funny thing is, um, you know, she was she was old enough that I would, would have thought that she would know what that was or she would have approached you know it, it really surprised me she didn't know what it was and um, so I told her I said well that's an artichoke and the teenage girls the cash the uh, bagger she looked at me and she goes yeah I wouldn't have known either I'm like what <laughs> oh my goodness what are they teaching you in school love um how do you and and to work at a grocery state a grocery store and not know what artichoke it just really really surprised me it really did i'm gonna use liquid glue on this one i don't know why i don't have a reason why i'm just gonna use liquid glue on this one because that's what i picked up i guess that's my habit yeah so that was my day yesterday at the grocery store it was really shocking and again, not to embarrass anybody if you don't know what an artichoke is, but if you don't, check it out. It really surprised me that, that somebody didn't know. We have so much produce in California, I forget. I forget sometimes just how blessed we are um, in certain parts of the world that we know different produce and different, you know, different things like that. And, I forget that not everybody has the same experience with that. Um, so many people here in Alabama have never tasted an avocado. And that surprises me. That's like a daily staple. 
back in California for us. I don't eat them as much here now, but I sure did back home. I'm like, oh, quite a bit more. Um, what color do I want? I need to put this one on the back. I don't have any more of that paper because I'm going through my scraps. I guess I'll just put book page behind it because I need to use that too. Um, is this wide enough? Well, it's not quite as white as I want it. I really love all of that blue if I hinge it I'm gonna lose some of it a lot of it so maybe this isn't the piece I want let's see if I've got another one yeah again I'm not trying to embarrass anybody but that was just really surprising to me okay don't get mad at me for using this pretty paper because it is pretty but I will probably never use these so put book paint on the side I've had this in my box for probably a year. I was just not using it. Not at all. That is wide enough, right? That book page. Yes. Okay. So I've come down to realize I've got way too much stuff in my office, in my in my craft room, craft room office slash office. Um, I use it more as my craft room than an office. I really don't need an office. But I don't like my my computer and my bills to live in my room. So got to have that somewhere. And so it's in my craft room. So hashtag, or that's why I call it my office too. It actually started out as my office first when I had a business. But I don't. Well, I kind of do, but not really. I kind of do, but I don't. Not an official. Not an official business. Not in an official capacity at all. Okay, enough of that. The food market. So this is gonna go this way. So this is gonna go this way. help me at all I mean it has to go this way because that's the that's the way right so the edges are both on the side this is gonna need to go to this way and again just having a little bit of the wording on the side that's fine be okay with So thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. I have taken a long weekend this weekend just to get some stuff done. Still waiting to find out if I need to go into work tonight or not. I probably need to. They're doing kind of an overnight, late night cleaning thing. And they didn't put me on the schedule all week. Um, in case I was doing that other project, but since I'm not officially, I'm not sure what my role in this overnight thing is supposed to be, if any at all. So please forgive me once again. I know that's pretty paper. <laughs> it's just it's just hanging out there in my box, and I need to use it. Okay, so what I want to do is, see that glue, maybe I didn't get it to the edge. I want to make sure that this is right. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to clip here. And I need to trim here. And 
make sure we've got everything glued down really well. Again, this paper is really fragile, so I wanna make sure that, you know, I don't have any weird edges sticking out. Oops, I just got some on her. I don't want it to break. I don't want it to break apart. Good enough, okay. Now I want to, again, put a thumb, thumb notch in there. to be a little more delicate with this one because I think I got too far on that other one. There we go. We did better. Okay, so let's glue this one. some other projects I need to make too. I'll probably record those as well. I need to make a summer pocket letter. And I've got my Memdex. I need to make a birthday card. And a couple of things. Actually, I don't need to trim, oh, well, well, let's trim that one at least. I need to do this with scissors because it's so fine. Okay, I don't need to do this one. This one can be a little bit wonky because if I am going to, until I'm done with the project, because if I'm going to hinge it, it's gonna be covered anyway with that edge. Um, so I don't need to worry about that yet. There, so we've got two pockets. I love this side. I love the color behind there. I do, I love that. And then I can actually put like an ad over it or, or something, I don't, I don't know what yet, but it'd be fun to put like a seasoning packet or something there, um, sentiment or another ad here maybe. I don't know yet, we'll see. So I got two pockets. What else can we do? This one, I love the picture and I just want to make a, um, a journaling spot. Now I do have, I don't know if these are big enough or small enough or even close to the right size. I have this big old pack of these Score Builders PTA content master flashcards that were probably really expensive for somebody. It's got lots of uh, medical information in it that I got for $2.99 at the bookstore or the thrift store. And I'm thinking this would be a great size for that. So we're going to use the first one I've used because they're already a good size. I'll use some book page to add the additional since it is a little bit smaller than that. Or if I could find some more of that, some other paper like that blue that would stand out like that would be really nice. I mean, I could go into my, I could go into my books and I know I could find some paper, but I wanna use my scraps. This would be fun, look at this paper. Ooh, how cute that would be, except that I just ripped it. Look at that, that would be cute. It's kinda got that vintage vibe. I feel like there were more of those. Let's see if I can find any more to try to change to. <sighs> see if any more, ooh, what's this? This. I got a stack. Not this one. I really like that one. Since the other one was blue, maybe that one. Or we could do it like it's a sunny day. I think that one doesn't. I think that one blends in too much. Ooh, that one's cute. We could do green. I don't know where these came from. I think somebody gave these to me. I don't remember. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think we did the blue one before, so let's don't do blue. I'm kind of digging the polka dots. What do you, the polka dots or this one? The purpley one. I kind of like the polka dots behind there. I 
but that's overkill. Um, hmm. Let's use this because you know what? Let's get it out of here. I've got I've got other uses. I can use these. I'm gonna hold those out though because I think those will be great additions in, in this. Oh goodness, my trash can's in the way. All right, let's use this one today. Or this time, I should say. I'm hoping, I wonder if this is going to stick. Or how well it's going to stick. I guess I could try. Let's just do it. I don't know. Don't know. We'll learn lots of things today. paper. I love it. We'll put something a little more calm on this side so we can write on it. Put a recipe or something like that on it. So I'm curious, you guys, do you, does anybody use um, recipe rubber stamps? And if so, can you point me in the right direction? I'm debating going, well, see, I'm debating. I could use a rubber stamp for, rec for recipe cards, or maybe I can just print something from the internet, which would be way easier, way less time consuming, but also hard to, well, I guess you can't really scale a, a rubber stamp, can you? Printing something might be a better option. I guess I can look around. Okay, we're just gonna toss these because we're getting rid of scraps today. Okay, and we're not keeping everything. Not today. Some days, yes, but not today. All right, seems to be okay as far as sticking on the edges. That's good news. What do you think? I love it. I think this is great. I'm a little concerned about if this is a, um, I think it'll be all right. I was gonna say, if this is a, uh, a card that we can slip in and out, that the edges, I need to make sure that they're down really well so that they don't uh, break off. I think I'm gonna use this one. Um, but I can do that. Gretchen, is your tummy troubling you? Gosh, my dog is sleeping clear across the room and I can hear her tummy making noise. Poor thing. She doesn't seem un uncomfortable, but her tummy is loud today. She's got food and water and... What's the matter? What's the matter? What are you doing, girlfriend? She's relaxing. She's looking at me like, why are you talking to me? Don't talk to me right now. My tummy's making noises and I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Poor thing. Hope she doesn't have an upset tummy. That would be make for a rough day, huh? Get it? She's a dog. It would be a rough day. I didn't even do that on purpose. Man, I'm good. So something that you guys may not know about me, or you might, I don't know if you stuck around, I might've talked about it before. I love dad jokes and puns. I know they're stupid, but they're hilarious. And it's something that my brother and I do a lot together. It's like, um, you know, trying to out pun the other. And um, I have to say he's better at it than I am. Don't tell him I said that, please don't tell him I said that. But he's way better at that than I am. Of course, he's a dad, so I would expect that. But it's hilarious. It's so fun. I mean, just they just they get worse and worse, and it's just like, oh my god, you did not just say that. I love those kind of jokes. 
not dirty jokes, not hurt, hurtful jokes, not hateful jokes, nothing like that. I love puns. Puns, just stupid stuff, you know? Like plays on, a play on words kind of stuff. That stuff I absolutely love. Um, yeah, my brother's the king of puns. I'm gonna go ahead, oh shoot, I wish I had, um, what am I saying? I mean, I've got, I've got, I've got stuff. I'm like, what? I wish I had some stuff. I do have stuff. What the heck is me? Let's use some, this has got some pink on it. But I'm not sure I care. Let's use some of that. And I have my water bottle here, where is it? There it is. I didn't need that much. I know I didn't need that much. We're gonna use a little bit of this to stain that. And that's not quite how I meant it to go at all. At all at all. Okay, so let's do it this way because that's awful. Let's do it this way instead, which means I won't be able to use this right away, but, oh well. Clean that up real good. We've got something that looks a little more coffee stain kind of-ish, and it'll lend itself a little better to that. So we're gonna put that on the flip side and then I'll put a stamp or whatever over it with res for recipes or we can just journal on it. But I'm gonna set that aside for a minute so that it can dry. And, and if I hate it when it's dry, then we'll do something else. I've got plenty of paper, plenty of scraps. All right, next is, what's next? this beautiful little young lady. I think she needs to be on a, I think she needs to be on a, um, on a card too. On a journaling spot. I think she's amazing. I think this was from a, an ad for refrigerators. And you can see her looking into her wonderful, or freezer, I should say, into her freezer and looking at all the goodies in there. Probably being proud of all of the things that she made. Whoop, I'm gonna slide everything over there again. So I think I just want, I just want her on it. I don't really want anything else. Just her. I'm just gonna glue her down. Glue her down. Gretchen, you can still hear her tummy. Poor thing, oh my goodness. Did you just eat your breakfast? Did you eat a, something that's yelling at you? Oh my gosh, I was watching a video yesterday. Um, and this gentleman found a baby bunny in his yard and he was worried his dogs were gonna eat it. So he was trying to chase it out the yard but the bunny was going in the wrong direction. So he picked it up by the scruff and the bunny just starts, not screaming, but yeah, screaming. You know, let me go, let me go. And Gretchen came running through the house to see what was going on. She heard that bunny. She just wanted to be a part of it. Unfortunately for Gretchen, it was on the, it was not a real bunny. Fortunately for Gretchen, it was not a real bunny because Gretchen brought in a bunny that was dying last week and wanted to be a friend. <laughs> wanted to be friends with the bunny. Oh, I had to take the bunny away from Gretchen. It was sad. Bunny did not make it. But I don't think Gretchen hurt the bunny. I think Gretchen was brought the bunny in. I think the cat actually hurt the bunny. 
because the cat heard the crying of the bunny on the phone too and he came running too he was like i'm all about this what is going on and i think he's the one that hurt the bunny because he is definitely a hunter i've seen him do it i've seen it with my own eyes but the damage was done <laughs> poor bunny all right, so this lady is now a journaling card. I'm going to go ahead and clip the edges of this. Um, I'll do something with the back later on. I'm not sure exactly what because I didn't really like the method I used before. So I'm going to have to think about that a little bit. Of course, if I... Oops, I forgot a corner. If I put a recipe stamp or something on the back of it, then I probably won't be happier with it. Or just journal on the back. All right, so we've got her, and I want to do the same thing with this one. Same thing. Let's find some more paper that's uh, interesting. This will work. Should I leave a little outline on this one? Be kind of fun. Look like a picture from the 70s, wouldn't it? And we'll outline our, yeah, okay, let's do that. I know I didn't spit out the thought, and I'm asking you to agree, but um, you'll see. Remember back back in the day when the, they had the white border around the photograph? That's what we're going to do. And this paper actually has a texture to it. It's kind of like, it's kind of a linen texture, for lack of better example which wouldn't be like a photograph but that's okay we're just gonna stick it out there I don't know if that really does any good but it's worth a try I'm just gonna eyeball this. I could probably get out my trimmer and do a better job, but I'm just gonna eyeball this. This isn't gonna be very thick though. What was I thinking about? Is that too thin? That one was a little more narrow than the others, wasn't it? This is why I don't eyeball things. So then I just keep going around and correcting. Okay, that's a little off. All right, that's nice. So I think I'm still gonna put, I think I need another layer back there. This is really thin. It's really, really thin. Should I just put the same paper back there? I don't know if it's big enough. It's not big enough. Mm. Come on now. I don't want to put color behind it. I just want white behind it. Let's just use this cardstock, I think. Oh, there's polka dots on that cardstock. If I put polka dots on the back, I'm not going to be able to write on it. That won't work at all. Kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Kind of. It's funny how when you're looking, when you think you've got all these extra pieces and you know you do, and then you go back and look for some and it's like, I can't find it. Where is it? This will work. This is an off Ooh, that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll do that. Put another off white border around it. It'll make it thick enough, but it really pulls the color in. But then I probably won't round the corners. But I like, I like the contrast. Okay, so we're gonna do it. Because when it comes down to it, it's about, you know, making it cool. And functional, and functional. Okay, 
There is a possibility too that I'll just glue this in there on something instead of turning it into a card as well. So you never know. All right. Ain't she pretty? All right. Look at me using scraps. at that. All right. I like it. I love it. And most likely what I'm going to end up doing in the end, I'll probably put um, a colored fabric tab or something on there. Maybe not even fabric. I don't know. Should I round these corners? I'm going to round these corners. It softens it up a little bit. There. I love that. That's awesome. All right, so we've got another one. Yay! All right, what's next? This one I kind of wanted to use in parts. I want to use the... I'm not exactly sure about this one yet. I do love this for the grocery part. But if I add a couple home... Let's see, I might want to save this for my... my for my sewing, I think I want to save that for my sewing pattern journal. Did you guys know I sew? I do. I don't sew clothes anymore, but in junior high I used to. <laughs> I used to sew my own clothes um, in junior high because, you know, I was taught how. And I don't need to use your needle. but that would be a fun thing to keep for later on. And this is not straight. Iron on designs in three color. Okay, so this is an, a sewing ad, which I didn't notice those words that are there. But I think I'm gonna leave that because I can add that to something and put something over that portion. Like if I was gonna add it to a page, I can stack it like that. So that doesn't bother me. I don't even care about those numbers right there. That's fine. Um, but I'm gonna put it on some color. Maybe some orange. Could we put it on some orange? Oh, you guys, you know what? I have, I wonder what I did with those. See, there I go again. I have those uh, Vicky Bouton, Bouton wax crayon things. I wonder where I put them. That would be so fun to try to color the, well, not to try, but to do, to color those. I think I know where I put them, but I can't really, I don't think I can get to them. Here, right here on my desk. Oh, in this container thing that I made that doesn't really work very well. Nope, it's certainly not in there. All right, well, that's not going to happen today. But I am going to still look for something colorful to put this on. Maybe. about something like that and I could actually leave it there and just outline it I think I like that I think I like that a lot okay so and that'll actually that cardstock will be thick enough to do something and you know what I think put that there so I can work with it I think I'm gonna leave this length on here 
because wouldn't this be fun to leave just like that? And that way, I, maybe I could fold this up or heck, you know, I'm trying to make pockets, fold it back and make a pocket out of it. Let's just do that. There's no rules here. It's my book. <laughs> so we'll have another pocket. And we're gonna cut this straight. Ish. Straight as my eyeballs will allow me to right now. And I can sew up the edges once it's done. Yeah. Not at all what I planned, was it? But I like it. All right, so we've learned a few things today. We've learned that we can use our, our tool to, uh, I don't know what it's called, that tool to add pages to a cinch binding. What else did we learn? That there are no rules, no rules, man. Okay, so I cut that a little too close, but that's okay. still like it. We'll kind of put that down a little bit lower. There. Alright. And maybe we just leave it I can turn it into a pocket, or we can just leave it as a flip. Maybe it just flips down, and then can be um, journaled on here. That'd be cute. Just leave it like that. So there's that one. And, you know, as I sit here looking at this one, I want to... I want to... There it is. Just do this. You guys probably can't see any difference, but I can. I can. Um, so I think I'm going to call it a day on this one for now. Uh, this is going to be something I'm going to be working on for a while. I'm not in any hurry to get it done. And I'll uh, bring you guys along for the ride. So I just want to thank you all for hanging out with me. Um, I want to welcome my new subscribers and thank you and as well as my longtime subscribers for being here and supporting my channel and supporting me. If there's uh, any comments or questions you have, please feel free to leave them below. Please make them positive. Um, I love positive comments. But also if you have any suggestions or ideas for me, things that you'd like to see me make along the way, that would be awesome too because sometimes I need some help with that. Sometimes I need some ideas and I watch a lot of YouTube videos, but I like to put some stuff, um, content up that you guys want to see. So, um, you know, and if I don't know how to do it, I'll figure it out. Just, you know, I love trial and error. I love figuring things out. As you can see, as I play along this morning and, um, you know, make new things and, and try new, try new things. So just let me know what you want to see and I'd, I'd love to be able to uh, help you out. So thanks again for starting this journey with me. I hope to see you in the next video. And uh, take care, y'all. Love you. Bye-bye.